Congratulations to the graduates of St. Mary's School in Cagayan de Oro. Congratulations din sa inyong mga magulang, sa mga staff at teachers ng SMS, at sa lahat na nakiambag para mairaos ang inyong graduation sa kabila ng mga hamon na kinakaharap nating lahat. Few of you probably expected this kind of virtual graduation. Isang pagdiriwang na hindi nakikita ang isa't isa na nagmamarcha, hindi naririnig ang palakpakan, hindi nakakasali sa tawanan, iyakan, yakapan. If you pull back a bit more, we realize that a lot of the things we might be expecting of the future will probably also change. We'll move on to college, yes, but after that, iniisip natin, hahanap tayo ng trabaho at papasok sa opisina, magpupursigit tayo para makaangat sa career natin sa isang office job. Dahil sa COVID-19, tinatanong natin ang sarila natin, mangyayari pa kaya ito? Anong klaseng kinabukasan kaya ang nag-aabang? I think a lot of the social anxiety we feel comes from this. With so much changing, the predictability of outcomes become shaky. We lose some of our anchorage. And that is why I feel that the first task of any graduate is to reimagine the future. This is a great opportunity and unique for your batch in the sense that there is a prevailing feeling that the old way of doing things just won't cut it anymore. I remember what the novelist Arundhati Roy said in a recent article. We stand on the cusp of a portal to a new world. Sabi pa niya, we can choose to walk through it, dragging the carcasses of our prejudice and hatred, our avarice, our data banks and dead ideas, our dead rivers and smoky skies behind us. Or we can walk through lightly with little luggage, ready to imagine another world. Close quote. From where I sit, to walk lightly towards this new world requires that humanity revisit the way we've been doing things. This has been my message to every graduate since the COVID-19 pandemic broke out. Walang ibang paraang tumugon sa sitwasyon natin ngayon, kundi ang kumilos ng palabas at pasulong. By this, I mean that we need to resist the impulse to think only of ourselves and our immediate circle when we act. We must begin to recognize that all of us are interconnected, that the suffering of one redounds to the suffering of all, just as the uplifting of the last, the least, and the lost redounds to uplifting all. We cannot shrink back into our bubbles because the biggest threats that we face, pandemics, climate change, the outbreak of conflict magnified by factors such as radicalization, isolationism, and neglect, all of these require that we pull together. Walang bansang nakaalpa sa digmaan o sakuna ng nagkakanya-kanya. At walang bansang makakaharap sa napipintong mga pagbabago ng hindi nagtutulungan. Ang ibig namang sabihin ng pasulong, face the future with grit and resolve. Do not be paralyzed by fear. Find your certainty in the little tasks. Putting things back in their right place, learning a chapter, being kind today, being brave today, doing what you can to get closer to your goal every time you are faced with a decision. Know that chasing after a better future requires putting in the hard work today. Know that your long journey in life is in fact a series of steps taken one at a time, a moment at a time. Some of you want to be doctors and scientists, lawyers and accountants, engineers and architects, teachers and journalists, among many others. I want you to hold on firmly to these dreams and to fight for them. Balang araw, kapag naabot nyo na ang pangarap nyo, babalikan nyo ang virtual graduation na ito. I hope that you remember all that you had to go through along with these two words, palabas, pasulong, as a reminder that every challenge can be overcome with grit, resolve, and solidarity with our fellow men. Muli, happy graduation sa mga mag-aaral ng St. Mary School of CDO.